Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we're working with electricity and magnetism, we realize we need four basic units. We still need the three units for mechanics. We have meters, kilograms, and seconds, but we also need the unit for charge called coulombs. Before we get into the electric field, let's go back to Coulomb's law, where it tells us that the force between any two charged objects is equal to K times Q1, Q2, divided by the distance between them squared. K is the constant, Q1 and Q2 is the charge on the two objects. Notice that the units for that ended up to be newtons. Now what's the electric field? The electric field is an influence, a sphere of influence, because the presence of electric charges. So let's say there's a lot of electric charges present, they create an electric field. And if you then place a test charge in the field, we can calculate the strength of the field by measuring the force that acts on this charge divided by the size of the charge Q. So that's how we define the electric field. The equation then tells us that if we take Coulomb's law and divide it by Q, because force equals Coulomb's law, divided by Q, you get rid of one of the Q's in the numerator, we now have a new equation to express the electric field in terms of the charge that causes it, that same constant K, and the distance from where you are, the distance between the charge and the point of interest, quantity squared. Well, if the electric field is defined as the force between two charges divided by Q, that should give us a way to find the units for the electric field. You can then say that the units for the electric field can be defined as the units for the force, which is newtons, divided by the unit of the charge, which is coulombs. And so therefore, we now know that the units for the electric field must be newtons per coulomb. Now, later on, we'll find out there's a second way in which you can express the unit for the electric field. Now, if you want to continue to break that down to see what that looks like in the basic units, we can say, well, a newton can be defined as a kilogram meter per second squared, and multiply that times 1 over Coulomb, you can see then that this is the standard units for the electric field. It involves all four. We have meters, kilograms, seconds, and coulombs, or kilograms, meters per second squared per coulomb, are the basic units for the electric field. And that's how we know.